Hello, so welcome again to another beautiful episode of Reaction on the channel. If you're meeting me for the first time, you're welcome to the channel. My name is Daniel and you're welcome to Daniel's Reacts. On this channel, we keep it cool, we keep it simple by reacting to musical videos of your favorite right that is. We talk about culture, we talk about talent, we talk about um, uh, places you haven't seen or haven't heard about and we tend to react to every piece of video on this channel. So what are you waiting for? What are you looking at? Do what to just smash the like button, turn on your post notification bell by subscribing and also do well to share our videos to your friends and loved ones. You know, someone out there will love what you say. So without talking too much from the title, you should know the description of the video. Like, you can't wait to watch it, right? The same way I can't wait to react to it. So what you just need to do is to grab your cup of popcorn, your juice and everything that we get to make your mouth moving and you get entertained so that you don't get to miss out on this beautiful episode of reaction so without talking too much we are wasting much of your time do well to engage on this particular one you can also support us by also to start thinking start chatting and also you can see a link in the description where you can support us also by buying a coffee that way you can support the good work you see on youtube and you appreciate the reactor or the content creator of that particular piece of content so without talking too much let's dive into the video we came to watch so let's move it guys uh, Milias Palayo is my name. I'm a, I'm a lawyer, a historian, and also a theologian. You gave a very oh. excellent exposition wow. of uh, the Quran hmm. and Islam, but uh, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam are all Abrahamic faiths. A Jew could have said the same thing or oh, there's almost the same things if you said by quoting uh, the Quran. Wow. Sorry, it's called quoting the, the Torah and the Talmud. A Christian could have said almost everything you said by quoting both the Old Testament and the New Testament. And I do not know whether we should be trying to say one religion is superior or more truthful than another wow and if we do go okay. down that line okay, okay what does that lead to uh, that's what led to the crusades etc thing you mentioned about justice and peace of course the christian bible mentions more there are more verses about justice and peace than there are about the holy holy spirit and of course christians were pacifists until 313 when, uh, so, what is the difference between what you are saying hmm. and Judaism and Very Christianity? And what would that lead Love to? Love this. You better ask a good question. And I do agree with him that if you read the books of Judaism, the books of Christianity, you will find wow. verses of peace. Never in my lecture ever did I say that any religion is against peace or any religion is in favor of terrorism. I always said, all religions are against terrorism. What I made one statement in my speech that the mm. verse of the Quran, chapter 5, verse number 32, this verse, which is so emphatic, I do not find a similar verse in any other scripture because I'm a student of comparative religion saying that if you kill one innocent human being, it is as though you have killed the whole of humanity. And if you save one okay. innocent human being, it is as though you have saved the whole of humanity. It was only one verse, so that generally, I do agree that most of the religions, almost all, they speak yeah. about peace. That's the reason Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. If you read the Gospel of Luke, chapter number 24, verse number 36, when he goes to the upper room, he wow. says, when he wishes apostles, Shalom Alaikum, which means same, peace be upon you in Hebrew. So the greetings of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him too, when he met the people, was Shalom Alaikum, which meant same in Arabic, Assalamu alaikum. May peace be on you. Regarding you saying that one religion is superior to the other religion, I believe Almighty God sent only one religion. He has not sent different religions. What the Quran says, he has made human beings into different tribes, different colors, different languages, so that they may recognize each other, not they may despise each other. The only religion that God has sent to all his messengers, whether it be Moses, whether it be Jesus, peace be upon him, Moses, peace be upon him, Muhammad, peace be upon him, it was 
to submit their will to Almighty God. I believe all these messengers right from Adam, Noah, Moses, Jesus, Muhammad, peace be upon them all, all of them brought the same message that believe in one God and worship Him alone and only Him and submit your will to that Almighty God. Hope that answers the question. This is mind-blowing. I have never seen something like this before. Like, it actually blew my mind. Guys, if you watch this one, drop in the comments. Let me know what you think about this particular word. And for you watching to this very moment, like, I appreciate you. I don't take a lot for granted. No, 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 no. So thank you. And do well to hit the like button. Subscribe if you're yet to subscribe. And also drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think about this particular one. And for all our returning subscribers, thank you for always coming back. I don't know right to pass this particular one. All right, belong to the rightful content creator of this group, piece of art. I don't intend to infringe on the copyrighted materials. So thank you. And see you in the next one. Do where to stay put, stay safe, and stay subscribed. Peace. Bye for now. Thank you.